What is up guys? So I was on Fiverr, you know, just reminiscing all the good times that we've had together, getting coached while pretending to be a noob, losing $100, getting scammed. You know what I mean? Just thinking about the entire ride that it's been. And then I got the idea to just search the name of our favorite game, Rainbow Six Siege, scroll through the hundreds of job listings and hire whatever was dead last on the last page. You know what I mean? I thought I'd give some love in these crazy times we're currently in and just YOLO it and see what happens. I put the sort on popularity and went out to find the most unpopular job listing that I could in Rainbow Six Siege. I finally did get to the end, but it was for creating game footage that wasn't specific to Siege. But something else did catch my eye. If I scrolled up just a little bit, I found this seller with a single picture that is of the plat 3 rank with the words rank guaranteed in all caps directly under it. Now he had three purchasing options with the first being three ranked wins for $15, the second being five ranked wins for $30, and then the premium option of a guaranteed plat rank for $50. As long as you met the restrictions of already being a gold and gaining 60 or more elo per win. I quickly jumped on my duo account, made it not just a gold gaining over 60 ELO per win, but also made it just one game off of gold one. So I would only need four or five wins in a row to get plat. Should be pretty easy, right? Now, even though we've literally never had a good experience with anything other than coaches and editors, I decided to once again YOLO the most expensive option possible and see if someone can really be so good at Siege that they can make a nice side income of playing with randoms to get them to the rank that they want. The last thing that I did to get ready was I did a complete makeover on my Undercover Fiverr account, got the incredibly generic Uplay name, got the default anime girl logo for that, and a complete remake on my secondary Discord server. Also made some changes to my XLR so that my voice wouldn't sound like the default coconut voice. Anyways, after that, I was ready to go, and here's what happened. Um, hey there. Hi, man. How are you? Are you gonna join us to, um, try to rank up? <laughs> yes, bro. Stop. Yeah, um, sorry if my voice is a little bit weird. I have a really bad mic. Have you guys been doing this a lot? Uh, so do, do you guys normally get diamond every season? Huh? What, what'd you say, Dragon? Sorry? Sorry, dude. I was, I was trying to talk to, um, King and Pinko. We're partied up right now. We're squatting together today. Hell yeah. If you do really good, maybe it'd be okay with them. Maybe you can join us. I don't know. It's up to them, though. They're the they're gonna be squad leading today. Either way. What's up, Holmes? What's up, dude? Yeah, King, can you hear me? Okay. You know what? I'm putting my voice chat on open mic. We're gonna full send this voice chat. Okay. I was able to change my in-game settings. Now I have open mic, so I don't need to push the talk. It's a little bit easier. I mean, you guys can do that too if you like be a little bit easier for call outs and you know gameplay it doesn't bother me i just have a really loud keyboard yeah your keyboard doesn't bother me i just i just like doing call outs and stuff i am um, king size i sent you a um, message on you know what site Okay, I got your message. King or Pinko, you want to see a really cool Valkyrie camera? Oh, wait, hold up. I'm getting a call from House Party. Yo, what's up, baby bra? Hold on, dude. Let me tell the rest of the fam about this. House Party is a new app from Epic Games that you can download using my link below that helps enable us to do video group chats of up to eight people at the same time. Now, I don't have eight friends, but I do use it with baby bra and the problem is all fixed. It's overall just a fun and interactive way to be together in these crazy times when so many people are forced to stay away from their friends and family, but now thanks to House Party, we don't need to be disconnected. My favorite part about the app is how interactive it is, like the group trivia where I still somehow lose to my two-year-old child, but that's okay because he doesn't know how to get up on top of the light on Theme Park, and we do. Besides that, you can actually hang out with your friends and family in an interactive way while you're going through your day. 
House Party is free to download and is available on iOS, Android, Mac OS, and Chrome. Just use my link below to download House Party yourself and special thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. Um, King and Pink Pinecoat, do you guys have uh, any operator you think that would be helpful to you guys that I should play? Capcom. Gotcha. Um, Alright, I'm gonna forgive you for that one. Oh yeah, I see you're just trying to shoot the book, huh? Oh, nice shot, King. I saw that one. He may be... Okay, he's peeking door. He's jiggle peeking B door. Very nice. Nice shot, Holmes. Thanks, dude. One tap. Nice, you and I, King. We clutched that one up. Team Kellerman, take your defuse. Nah, we're partied up. We're squatting right now. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good luck in your games, man. You too. Nice, I got um gold one. Thank you guys so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. I've had some some pretty bad luck this season. I got all the way up to plat three. Um, How old are you, boy? How come? How old are you? Uh, I, my my mic is just really bad. I, sorry if my voice is annoying. Now, besides the whole pretty much no communication whatsoever, I didn't even know what this guy's voice sounded like, it seemed like things were going pretty good. Like, from the last game, they both seemed really good at the game, and I was pretty hopeful going into game number two. Alright, guys. We're getting hammered out there. What's the game plan for this one? Oh, nice. Nice try. So yeah, we got slammed. We we're back below where we started. But unlike the first Fiverr experiment where I had somebody play with me, at least there were no signs of them getting really pissed off. Now it was also around this time that it was just pretty insane that I still did not know what this guy's voice sounded like. I decided to whip out the old soundboard, play some sounds of parents fighting in the background, see if I could get any sort of reaction out of them whatsoever. Hey, sorry. Huh. Oh, I'm very back. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna focus uh, more from now on. Sorry. Can you guys still hear me okay? Yeah. Backing up in the meeting. The guy in the connector is dead. Oh! Nice that was dirty, king size. Nice shot. I have a Monty on me. Did Monty dead? Monty. Nice job, bro. Thank you. Alright, that was the repel. I believe the other guy's on the rooftop. Got him, guys. Oh wow, he really went flying on that one. That's uh, Legion. Top yellow. Valkyrie. Rotating cafe. Okay, just just stay alive, stay alive. I don't think I can prevent him from getting. Is there a rotation? Now nah, I got him. Nice job. Four eliminated. Nice clutch up. 
Now at this point we had won two games and only lost one. And now going into game number four already, that means we are officially passing the previous Fiverr experiment where we only got three total games. I was definitely curious to see how far we were gonna take it. The only issue is that they were constantly on high ping, like right below 200, if not just passing it. Oh, upstairs, I think. GG's. How many points do you have? I'm like one game below plat. I mean, um, gold two now. So earlier I just needed three wins. I think I maybe need like four, maybe five. There's a nomad in cigar. Nice. New balcony, gridlock right now on the west. New balcony under new hatch. She's just on the other side of the two paintings. I don't know who's pinging, that's not me. Monty's just holding the door. Gridlock's peeking right on balcony under hatch. Monty's in, he's pushing you, King. He looks like he may be going to freezer. Nice try. GG's, nice try. We've been having some um, pretty tough matchups, huh? Oh. Good night, friend. Was huh? Oh, are you you guys have to get off. Uh. So at this point, I did get a little bit worried. The guy that I had hired from didn't even make a sound and just left, while his friend that he invited mumbled something before leaving. Had some minor flashbacks of the first experience, so I quickly jumped on Fiverr hoping that he would just find another time to play the next day. The seller did end up messaging me, but he was insisting I let him take over my account to supposedly rank it up. The reasoning for him was because of the bad ping, and to be frank, he wasn't lying about the ping at all. They both had very high ping, and it probably was difficult to play on. My issue was that at the time of my purchase, there was nothing stating that we couldn't play on my servers, and I was also willing to play anywhere in NA. He did say that if I host East, then it would be better, and I quickly agreed to that, but then he just went back on it, and he also mentioned that the time differences between us just made it difficult. He told me that I could go to sleep while he ranks it up, and once I wake up, the account will be plat. Now honestly, from what I saw in the game, I don't doubt that he can get plat at all. Maybe if I lived next to him, then we would have won five games in a row and I would have gotten plat with no problem. My issue is that I don't condone the behavior of giving any sort of information to strangers Plus, I'm pretty sure that may be crossing a line in Yubi's terms of service. Even if this guy is being honest, then that's great and I'm really glad for him. But you should never give out any personal information to any strangers no matter what, even if it's an official seller on Fiverr. All of you guys, keep that in mind, stay safe. Do not ever give out personal information to strangers. Now, I'm not gonna be recommending or condemning him as a seller, and I'm not even questioning his skill in Siege, but he is kind of like that local restaurant in your town where sometimes you get what you ordered, sometimes they forget the fries, and they leave all levels of basic customer service at home. Maybe my voice changer did just annoy the shit out of him, but if you want to be in any type of customer service, then that is one of the most petty complaints that you could come up with, especially with how nice and just the overall character that I was attempting to bring. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Up in the top right corner, I have a poll where you can decide if you think that this guy is legit or not. So it all came down to me just straight up asking, so you having my account is the only way to continue? He ended up telling me, yes, bro. I said, all right, dang. Well, thanks for trying to play with me and that I appreciate it. I told him that it's fine and maybe he can just refund me. He said, if I didn't want to give him the account or if I didn't trust him just for the boost, then sorry, but I can also ask for a refund. 
the final words in our discussion was him just saying sorry man and i was able to get my full refund so you know what props to this guy he didn't try to run away with the money and i don't even know does that even deserve like a props to somebody for just having a basic level of human decency for not trying to rip someone off i don't know plus in the big picture his lowest package was for three wins we went two and three. I didn't even get three wins. So a refund in my honest opinion is the least that he could do. What I do know is that I was able to get my full refund. So I have this money back in my account. So the only question I have for you is what do you guys want to see next? I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. I love you all. Peace.